Finally, tonight it's time for our weekly weather experiment. It's one of our favorites here at Fox 17. Sure is. We have Haley Vaughn this time who stopped by a local school to show them how they can make cloud droplets. Hi, I'm meteorologist Haley Vaughn and I am at Mrs. Tiller's first grade class here at Goebbels Elementary and we are going to be doing an experiment making cloud droplets and rain fall down with this week's weather kit experiment. Now all of our ingredients that we use today were all things that I found at Meijer. They were all things that I found just by going to the grocery store. So you can do this at home and I'm going to send everything over to you guys so you can do it at home too. All we need is shaving cream. Ideally, blue food coloring, because we're going to make it rain. Water. Large cups. I used glass, but you can use anything that's clear. And little tiny pipettes. That's all we need to make our little experiment. And water. Yep, good call. And water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this blue classic food coloring, and we're going to drop it into the water. And what we're doing is we're creating our rain. It kind of does look like ink. And I'm gonna use a pipette just to mix it up. So there we go, now we have that blue water. Put the shaving cream in the tiny little hole here and we're gonna make a cloud. So I'm gonna shake it up for each person. If you wanna try it, you push it down. I'll show it how it works. And it's gonna create a cloud. So. All right, so if you can keep doing that, try to make a really big cloud. And you're gonna push really hard. Perfect. That is good, perfect. All right, we're gonna pass it down the line. Try to make your cloud. Amazing. All right, now pass it down. Good, so we're making our cloud. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna drop our tiny little droplets into our cloud, and we're gonna show how once a cloud gets really full of rain, it ends up falling down. And what I'm gonna have you guys do is I'm gonna have you put a little bit more of the cloud, make it really big. <laughs> Try to make the cloud even bigger. All right, so we have some really big clouds, kind of like what you would see outside. We have our big, big clouds. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rain, and we all know that once our cloud is completely full of rain, it falls, right? Yeah. That's what we're gonna show with our experiment. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you squeeze it, get a bunch of rain water, and then I'm gonna have you stick it in there just like that. So go ahead and you can keep trying that. And all of you guys can fill it up and you might need to pass it down. Perfect. So this one you can already start to see. The cloud is getting full and then it's gonna start to drop down just like rain. The cloud is full and you're gonna to wanna to stick it right into the cloud. And you'll notice once that cloud is full, then it gradually drops that rain. And it's just like what happens outside. Whenever we have the moisture in our cloud and it gets really, really full and too heavy, it eventually will drop and it creates rain all the way down. So this is something that you can do at home. It's really fun. It's more visual than anything. And you can see all of the tiny blue uh, droplets that are coming down just like rain from the cloud. So of course you can try this at home. All you really need is that shaving cream. You need to have a jar, water, some blue, ideally uh, food coloring and a pipette. That's all you need to do to make this experiment. We'll have more coming up on Fox 17 in the coming weeks. Well, those are so fun. We can only hope that people see that and then want to just recreate it at home. Like you said, it's easy to do. Yes, I would highly recommend using a really good food coloring. It's going to get it a little bit better when it's falling through the cloud. And it's an experiment. Yeah. Every single time there's going to be a little mess up or two. And that's going to be the fun uh, with Mrs. Tiller's class. And Mrs. Tiller is actually one of my true family friends. I've known her since I was in preschool. And so it's been it was a real treat going to her classroom. It's a fun little story within the story. Yeah. I